Hey honey, welcome back to Kev Kev's channel. Today's video is about me and two of my friends went to an island in Sai Kong and we just have a good day and also have some accidents at the end. So let me quickly introduce you two of my friends. So the left hand side is Betty, the right hand side is Phoebe. And I know Phoebe since um, primary school and then we have been knowing each other more than 10 years. And then because Phoebe is, uh, she studied in the same high school with Betty. And this is how I met Betty. So I know Betty since, I don't know, four, six or five years ago. And so this friendship just have been going on for a long time already. And this time I'm back, we have been hanging out a while already. And then we plan to go to the beach. And apparently, two of them are a little bit inexperienced. So later on, it's going to be a bit interesting to, and to see how ridiculous we are. Today's weather is extremely good, or oh, let's say extremely hot. So that is really suitable weather to go to the beach and enjoy the sun, get tan, go to swim. Uh, we went to Saikong, we took the boat and then we arrived to the island. And then we just need to get changed and get ready for being sandy or dirty, filthy, whatever. <laughs> So the place that I went is Hamun Bay and you can google it and I'm sure it's very easy to find out how to go there. You just need to go to Saiko and find a boat and then people will drive you to there and you need to go back on time otherwise there's no boat to go back and you need to survive one night in this island. <laughs> and I will only say good luck to you if you ever miss your boat. I need to share the story of two of my friends that didn't bring the tower or a mat to lay down or put stuff on there. And I was so angry because you knew you were going to the beach but you don't bring anything. So where do you want to put your stuff or how are you going to lay on the beach? Unless you want to lay on the sand directly, then up to you. But we were kind of not struggling but questioning each other's and I just got a little bit annoyed however we have a good time we're just constantly taking picture creating good memories they are very easygoing they allows me to take videos with them and post this on YouTube so that I have a good memory every time I look back on my YouTube um, travel videos or vlogs it just reminds me the whole trip so I've been always highly recommending everyone to film more, take more pictures so that the memory or the image will always exist when you want to look for it. After a while, we all decided to go to the sea and Phoebe cannot swim so she rented a swimming rain and now she's just floating and taking a lot of video of us and that's very helpful of her and at the same time i really recommend everyone to learn how to swim because it's a very useful skills touch wood if there's any accident you can still save yourself isn't it so i hope that you all can swim like we can um it doesn't mean that i swim really well but i have the skill so it's useful I guess because of Phoebe she cannot really move so fast or maybe she can't even flow so fast in the sea so me and Betty were trying to help her to move to the floating board so that we can enjoy and chill 
in there, take some pictures, create a memory together, having a good time. Um, it's just cute. I really enjoyed that day. It was very sweet. It was very cute, very adorable. Um, everything looks so cinematic. It looks so cool. Um, look at this sea. It's it's just pretty and just nice. Boom, Betty, she wants to do the water jump, so I just joined her. And small story is that um, I try to do the water jump in a way that your hands go first and legs go at the end. Um, it didn't work out, but I also hurt myself, so... When you guys do the water jump, please be careful. Um, and also, don't tight up your back, otherwise you will have injured like me. And it was probably March until today, September is still very... I think I still have the problem there, but it's getting better and better. I just need to do more back muscle training so that I engage my muscle and I can help myself. Yeah, so the tips is be careful and just try your best. Look at our bet here, she's so funny. <laughs> Look a little bit dumb, but... Very cute. <laughs> Oopsie, on that day we have a small accident. Um, I was trying hard to take picture for Betty and then I just swim so close to the floating board and underneath there's a lot of shellfish and I just get so close and then the shellfish just scratch my legs and then my legs just bleed and it was alright, now I'm fine, no worry, thank you for everyone's caring. You know what, I was asking this gentleman to water jump with Betty because Betty really wanna do it with him and Betty was so shy and I was like, okay, I'm helping you, let me get your daddy. <laughs> well, the day just went so fast, um, you cannot have everything at once, so... Anyway, we have some film camera picture at the end, so enjoy! I'll see you guys next time!